Hey, what's going on guys, X here, and today we're taking a look at Hasbro's Transformers Titans Returns Broadside. Uh, so this guy's a triple changer, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there that, uh, you know, I do have quite a few of the Titans Returns. I don't have them all, uh, but of the ones that I do have, this one's probably the worst. But also by saying that, this is probably the best broadside that we've got in the past 33 years, which... Hence, uh, there's only the G1 in this one. So, uh, anyways, as far as size comparison, uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, there's your uh, little bitty guy. Here's a deluxe, and uh, there's a uh, you know a leader uh, to kind of give you an idea. So, this guy is a uh, Voyager. So, uh, pr pretty uh, nice size, you know, right in between where he's supposed to be. Uh, he comes with a sprue of uh, the little aerial bots as you can kind of see they're modeled off of the uh, combiner wars figures there i'm gonna leave them on here because i'm not going to display them in aircraft carrier mode which actually happens to be his best mode in my opinion but uh i just don't display my transformers that way but uh that's basically what they look like so uh you'll see how these uh holes uh come into effect a little bit later on but let's take a look at the robot uh it does come with a gun. You can see that it fits here. It's translucent like some other pieces on the figure are. Uh, sorry about that. He's got some uh, weak joints. Uh, but it's you know where you can have uh, another little Titan figure, if you will, uh, set in here and kind of captain this around. Uh, you could also you know put it on here on top of the uh, shoulder if you uh, wanted to. So do it like that, or you can put it in his hand, whatever you want to do. So I guess you could you know, put it right here. You could have a gun crotch do that. So it's whatever, uh, you know, however you want to play with your uh, toys. You know, it's up to you. Uh, he does have a lot of loose joints. They're mainly here in the ankles and the hips. Uh, down here, you'll kind of notice. Um, so, someone told me that they, I, I bashed one uh, figure and they were like, oh, you got to do more of these. But uh, I'm not trying to bash this. I'm just kind of telling you how it is. You can kind of see where there's grooves in there as if it would have like ratchet joints or something like that. Uh, it's just on the pin. Uh, so you can hear no ratchets. Yeah, so uh, I don't even know why they have those grooves in there because uh, it makes no sense because it's only turning on this pin here in the back and uh, it's just really loose. It's loose on both of them and even uh, in the joint here, like he keeps on falling back because he's back heavy, uh, as you can see. So whenever I put him on the shelf, you know, he keeps on like kind of falling back. Uh, the other thing is the ankles. They only have like kind of two notches. It's there. And there, as far as, uh, you know, this point right here. Well, I guess three. There's that one. But. So, um, they kind of give out a little bit. It's mainly here in the hips, though, that it's really loose. Arms and everything seem to be fine as far as, um, you know, quality of the joints. Uh, the head, you can see that it rotates in here. You're not going to get a full 360 just because of the way it's designed up there. You know, like these little side things, you can, you know, push them down. Excuse me. Yeah, so you can push them down. You want them to come back up and you hit that little button right there. Uh, I got the AC going on right now, so I kind of like this. I'll probably display them on the shelf like that since I run the AC in my house all the time. But it's a little nippy. So, but that's going to be the uh, landing gear if you will, for the aircraft carrier. Uh, as far as the articulation with this guy, I showed you with the head there. Uh, the shoulders, it rotates right here. The arms go in and out. You'll notice that this back piece or little wing or uh, in jet mode kind of just stays back here. If you try to flip it back like that, then you know it's still going to be kind of there and then it's just going to be you know more stuff in the back so uh the directions show it like this and that's kind of the way i'm going to do it that way i can kind of hide it behind the arms maybe you can't see it as much uh but whenever you move the arm you know it kind of moves with that because it's all connected right here i move the arm out this way i'm going to move the the wing out there as well uh it does have a bend here at the elbow also rotation on a mushroom peg you have the wrist that i guess you could say it can go in but that's part of the transformation uh there's no waist articulation legs back and forth they go in and out he could do the splits uh the thigh cuts actually up here in the hip so it's on a mushroom peg as you can see the 90 degree bend here at the knee and then i've kind of showed you the foot already so Anyways, uh, let's take a look at this uh, little Titan guy. Again, he's very back heavy. Uh, 
here's a look at broadsides uh, head. If we can get that. Uh, well, we can do better than that. Yeah, there you go. Uh, they did, still they didn't paint all the way into the visor, so it's missing a little bit of red paint. It's kind of rushed, I, I feel. Uh, but you can see there's silver paint for the face going all the way around. As far as design for the face, uh, I think it looks you know pretty cool. Uh, you open up the little tight master. There is not one bit of paint on this guy whatsoever. Uh, I guess I, I'm used to buying more of the Takara releases, uh, especially with the you know deluxe figures and uh, some of the Legends ones, and they all have paint on them, even these little guys. And uh, I get some of the Hasbro's, and they just don't have anything. So uh, the arms, you know, up and down, they kind of go in and out a little bit. And he could do you know a seating pose like this, or he could seat like this, or transform. So uh, again, you know, he could fit in the gun or another guy if you wanted him to. So. All right, let's go ahead and get him transformed. We'll go ahead and leave this guy in a seated position. All right, and we'll go to aircraft carrier mode. So we'll come down with this. We'll come in with the hands. Go ahead and flip this around. And we will come back with the jet section and fold that down. We'll come in with the legs. You're going to turn those. Uh, it's, you know, very simple to kind of see how it's all going to come together. Uh, you know, you're not going to get confused. One, you know, you're going to turn like that. You're not going to be able to get it the correct way. So it's pretty obvious it's going to be this way. Plus, you can see the aircraft carrier stuff. So, uh, but if you came back with these feet, another thing, these feet don't have anything to connect them. So they're just kind of sitting there and you have to just hope that this connection stays together. So this one connection is supposed to keep, you know, all this together, which these kind of come apart every once in a while. Uh, then you can come back with this section and that kind of holds that into place and do the same with this. So you're just kind of hoping all this stays together. Then you can come with this just down the middle, close up these little silver wings, come down with the red wing so that that all kind of looks flush going down the middle there. Then with these arms, you're actually going to turn them uh, with the fist facing the wing. So you can kind of see that, so we'll turn those because you have that little slot right there and a little peg right there if you can see that little blue translucent peg so that's going to uh, fit right there and there and then here and there to try to uh, line all that up and do the same thing over here there we go you, you hear these down here because they don't connect so uh, we'll come back with this section here, come up with the tower and the radar, and then don't forget his uh, nipples, pull those out, and uh, now he is an aircraft carrier ready to go. And uh, again, you know, I think this is his best mode. I, again, I don't, why, why not make a little peg where these could connect? Uh, but everything else seems to, you know, connect pretty good. I think this, this was a good idea, you know, using the arms to help connect that on top of this right here. These kind of fit nicely in the grooves. Uh, this comes down with ease. Uh, and talking about the stickers, uh, Dakota and I were talking about this. The, the stickers are really bad. Uh... It, they just don't look at Even the Autobot logo's there. Like, you can see this thing. Um, it's reflective. Uh... You don't apply any of these stickers. They're already pre-applied. Uh, it's not even straight. It looks like like I've seen you know repro levels. They, they do a better job than this. But like even I've seen knockoff stickers. That's what it looks like. It looks like a knockoff sticker because it's not even centered. And uh, why not just tampograph that on? You know, and this right here. Uh, it, you can see it's already scratched up and like I haven't, you know, taken these off and kind of played with it like they're flying off and scrape it up. You know, this is the way it came out of package and I've transformed it a couple times. It's a very simple transformation. Uh, you can see another sticker over here, number 36. You can see it over here, uh, even with these lined up. Uh, we got them lined up the way that, you know, we're supposed to here and they're all crooked. 
So you can see the three is crooked, the six is crooked. The six is just barely on there. It's kind of coming off off the side. So, uh, you know, again, you know, I, I didn't set off, you know, on a mission to just completely bash this thing. I'm just kind of showing you what it is, and it has a lot of flaws. So uh, I don't know if the Alpha Trion, uh, because it's the same mold, uh, is like this, but this is, this is pretty terrible. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the... Oh, I guess if you if you wanted you have a big gun, does that fit in there? Oh well, well, well you can put it right there. So how about a, just a giant gun in the middle of the aircraft carrier, where you know this is the scale they're working with. So it's like really really big. So all right, let's go ahead and get into the uh, jet. What you're gonna do is flip the radar down. Go ahead and come down with that going to disconnect the wings right here and just rotate those up all right come down with the nips and then with you know these you're going to flip these inward and flip this one inward as well so you can come uh let's see back with these down with the red ones up with the silver ones and then up with this section here so uh, the way to know if you're doing the legs correctly you know silver goes up and the reds gonna go to the side so uh, then you can go ahead and come down with these and this actually connects in there which is good so something connects and then with the legs you can see this uh, little kind of peg right there hopefully you can see that behind my you know front of my finger uh, and kind of like right there is where I found kind of fits so kind of bend that to where it kind of fits in there it's not a very secure peg uh, because the uh, the hole is a lot bigger than what the peg is but it kind of gives you a general idea so we'll do that and move that go ahead and come down with this front section here and then the arms, uh, there's this uh, rod right here. You can see that they just kind of pull out. I forget which, which figure it is. Is it trigger happy? It's one of them. Uh, it comes back here, and then you can kind of see here on the arm. So you're going to leave the arm exactly the way it was, uh, but it's going to kind of just clip over that little box right there. Uh, so do the same thing with this one. And... You have that where it's going to just kind of clip in there. If we can get it. There we go. And that's how basically you secure the legs the way they're supposed to do. Or I'm sorry, not the legs, the back portion of the jet. Because uh, that's obviously what this is at this point. So, And uh, there you have it transformed. Doesn't it look like a, a jet? So, um, I, th I think it's really bad. Uh, you can't just put a nose cone and two wings on something and be like, oh, it's a flying vehicle. Because this, like, I can, I believe all the way up to right about here that I'm like, okay, okay. you know, or maybe right about here. You know, like, all right, show, I see a little bit of wing there and the front portion kind of looks like a jet. And then you kind of give me this, I'm like... It, you know, it does. It doesn't. It doesn't look like a transformer. It doesn't look like an official product. You know, uh, it's like okay, you had good intentions here, but then you're like, we just can't figure this out. So just kind of like bend the legs up, and you know, we'll use these little bitty wings, and <laughs> it's for kids. You know, I'm sure that's what you know was going on in their minds, and they're like, well, you know, it, they gave that whole. It, well, it's for kids, so who cares? And, you know, and then they all kind of agreed, like, all right, that'll, you know, it'll pass then. So that's what I kind of believe. I, a little positive. Uh, you get some paint here on the nose. Kind of a little paint right there and there. Uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, there's some yellow. Look at that. Uh, then, you know, this translucent, again, with the wings are the uh, stickers. The stickers have got this reflective stuff, and uh, the, they're put on poorly. They, they don't look very good. So the stickers again don't look good. They don't look good on this side either. And then you look at the, you know the sticker here, 
Uh, remember we mentioned that it's all off-centered on the... Uh, look at that. You can definitely see more silver over here. It just it doesn't look good. So, uh, anyways, there's a little place over here you can open up the cockpit and you can put your little guy in there. You can put your little guy in there and close them up. There you go. You could uh, plug this gun here in the center. That actually makes it look a little bit better, I guess. But uh, sorry about that. Uh, you can put that in there. You can put another guy on top, and uh, or you got your jet mode. So. All right, so we'll go back to uh, the robot transformation. Uh, put this guy back in his head mode. Close this up. The arms just, you know, disconnect right there. Go ahead and disconnect the legs from there. Go ahead and pull those down. Pull the feet around. Uh, the other thing that I didn't like was the the way these front fins or wings here on the legs, to where they just kind of set out in the front there i would have liked it better if there was maybe a, a double joint right here to where this could actually fold over and down i guess you could still have it like that if you want and then this could fold there you know just one little extra thing so it could you know double down and fold flat there but uh it doesn't do that so they just kind of set them right here and it's two little notches that they kind of connect somewhat all right, so come up with uh, this section again. I'm gonna come down with these. You have the arms that you need to rotate again. Come out with the fist. And come back with this section here and you have your uh, your Titans return broadside almost done. We just gotta you know head on or let's go and push that down again. Uh, head on and there you go. He's ready to be played with and displayed on your shelf. So uh, unless you're one of those people like me that were you know like this is only the second time I'm getting an official broadside and I really hated the G1 because uh, I had that and it was just I think it's one of the most garbage G1 figures. Uh, of the line uh, to get this one it's still poor but it's better than the G1 uh, I was like well I don't know when the next time I'm getting a broadside I don't you know I might not even be alive by the time we get another broadside so let me go ahead and pick this up and uh, there you go but if you like the times returns line you want to pick them all up then you know have at it but uh, hopefully this video was able to help somebody out there uh, if you're on the fence on whether you want to pick this guy up or anything in this mold uh, there you go. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll talk to you later. Peace.